hi guys welcome back to my channel it's G from happiness and crafting so today I'm gonna to make a really really simple tall slim journal now it's gonna be a Christmassy one um, I'm going to be using my new papers which is the bows bells and baubles and it is beautiful loving it um, in the pack you get landscape and portrait papers so I'm going to be using the, obviously the portrait ones so they, they make the nice tall slim journal um, and those have come in papers which are got two different um, colours on them so I printed on the front and I printed on the back um, and I love them so obviously as you fold them over you've got a nice pink bell on there and you've got the baubles and then I've just printed on the other side um, I have sort of tried to put it together um, I did try and film it before um, well I was thought I was filming it before but it wasn't filming so I have already folded them so it's quite simple you haven't really missed much I've just folded them in half and then what I've got I've got my um, snowflake um, backing papers as well which I thought would go quite nicely in there as well and it doesn't matter which way these go so they can go landscape or portrait and I've just cut them in half like this I've printed on both sides and the papers go really well with it as well all the colours um, so again look it doesn't really matter which way round it goes which is lovely this one I'm going to use as the front so I've just take, cut that in half and I've rounded the corners and then I've just folded these up and I've just popped some little bits in there which I love so that means that's a very very simple really simple just to fold up and pop in like that so we've got our lovely journal now the middle page this I'm going to be using the paper that I had for my lovely Kofi supporters um, so this if you're one of my Kofi supporters please pop over and print this off because it's beautiful I love it now I printed the same picture on the front and the back um, and obviously it doesn't go portrait it's a landscape so I've just folded the in these bits in and folded it in half so that's what I'm going to pop in the middle I'm going to sew around the outside so then we get little pockets there so you can pop little bits and pieces in there so quite simple nice little simple one today um, I'm not going to do too much for the inside um, because I think I'm just going to um, just leave it to sort of write in because you can write over the top of this um, can't you so it's these bits are lovely but look you can just journal on these little bits journal in between and I think it'll be a really nice one which is just sort of like a basic one so if you're new to journaling um, and you get you know a bit stuck with actually embellishing the inside this is a good one to do so that's the inside bits okay and then I'll sew that in a minute but on the front cover um, I wanted this one but obviously um, I'm going to pop it on there it's sort of like the same size um, but when I print mine off I have like a little white border around it so what I've got I've got some of my coffee stain papers and I'm going to stick that on the front and then sew around this bit here um, so where it sort of like sticks out that was where the sort of like what white border would be so I'm going to pop that on there like that and that's going to be the inside now I was thinking the outside I mean and what I was also thinking about is maybe popping this on the inside bit but I don't want this to be too thick because I've got a piece of paper here which is a 200, 200 GSM which I'm just going to fold in half like that I'm going to stick that on so we've got that in the right in the middle like that and then sew round it and I think what I might do for the inside as I turn it over I might just because I don't want to pop it through because it's going to make that bit too thick I'm going to just cut it in half I think a little bit smaller I'm going to have the green on one side and I think I'll have the pink on the other side like that so let's just glue this on first I'm just going to pop it on with a little bit of glue stick if I can get my glue stick um, 
like this. So, yes, I do have, still have a 40% discount in my Kofi shop and in, not in my, yes, in my Etsy shop. Um, not in the Kofi shop, only for my Kofi subscribers or members. Um, they will get a 40% discount, but it's only for Kofi, only for Etsy um, on there, which is the 40%. But if, you, if you're not a Kofi supporter, then you will still pay full price on there. So please pop over to Etsy and do it. Um, but again, if you are a Kofi monthly, um, you will get your 40% off as well. So pop over, because all of these, even this new kit is in the sale. So let's just make sure that's in the middle. Let's just move that over a little bit. So that's in the middle like that okay perfect so what i'm going to do is sew around all of that should i sew around this one as well i'm going to sew around this one i think i might sew these bits first sew those bits down there and then i'm going to sew around the whole thing and then we've got like a little pouch which i think will look nice so okay two seconds okay perfect so i have just gone around the edge of that um, i've done it in white thread um, seeing it's sort of like a christmasy one um, so that's nice isn't it so lovely let's cut these little bits off just these little bits and on here so yes i didn't I haven't done it in sort of like brown thread. I've done it in the white, which I think looks quite nice, doesn't it? Okay, perfect. So that can go back in the middle of that. Not sure whether I want to sew around these ones as well. We shall see, but let's do the inside bits. Okay, so what have we got? We've got pink, should I do the pink on the front page? And what I'm going to do, I think I will sew around it and then just stick it on um, because I don't want to sew down this bit on the outside. So I think I will. Let's just, let's just fold this and then I will cut it in half. Let's see if that will work. Perfect. And it goes right to the edge and then we've got that bit because I don't really want this to be too thick so let me just let's just cut this in half and we can have one side in pink and then we have one side in like the bluey green okay let's just Pop a little bit so if you know what I mean I can pop the pink one this side and then turn over and we can have that one on that side and have the more green little um, snowflakes and then this will just pop in there like that that looks nice doesn't it so that's quite simple again if you don't sew just glue it you don't have to use a sewing machine. Just going to go around the edges in the brown and then I'm just going to sew around it and then we can just stick it on. Um, what should I stick it on with? Probably a bit of three in one. Probably do the glue stick around the middle and a three in one around the outside. There we go. I like to use different glues for different things and I think the three in one will probably hold the edges down a little bit better um, than the glue stick or I could use my tacky glue maybe yeah maybe I'll use tacky glue So just fancy doing a nice, simple um, 
one of these today so I'm going to just pop and just sew around just around the outside so two seconds okay so I was having another thought when I was sewing these whether we would like to have little pockets in the front so before I stick them on um, we could pop something on here now I've got I went and got some of these little bits little white bits now this is quite shiny which is quite pretty isn't it um, I was wondering whether this is just a little bit of a old cotton one of those thin little um, what's it called it was a little curtain little light curtain which is quite nice so let me just tear that down oh look I had a piece there I could have used but then we want a little pocket on here just to put some little bits and pieces in just a minute I'm going to sew that on before just sort of just a little pocket just to pop a few little bits in what do you think I think that might look quite nice don't mind if it sort of like sticks out a little bit or we could use a little bit of this this is a bit this is obviously an off cut which has got wibbly wobbly bits on it so let's check this I could stick it on afterwards, couldn't I? Maybe I'll leave that. I've got what's this? Oh, this is pretty as well, isn't it? What do you think? There's a little bit of lace on here. Oh, that looks nice, doesn't it? I've got that little bit of cotton behind just to hold it all together so I might just sew that on like that I think let's chop this little bit off always um, just tidy that up afterwards I think I might do that what should we have this side then should have thought of this before shouldn't I let's just turn it around this way Oh, I suppose we could have like a little belly band. This is quite stretchy. What do you think we could do with this? Another piece of cotton. Make a little pocket. Make a little. Put that over the top, couldn't we? Make a little tuck. That would be quite nice. Maybe I will just fold this over. Right, so how long do we want it? Up there. Tie that. Okay, oops, lots of little bits and pieces. Right, so if I fold this over, so it's sort of double, like that. Which way do we want it? Should we have it from the inside so it tucks like that? Or like that? I think maybe that on the outside, shall we? Should we have it like that? Mm. Now I think I'll cover up a bit. I'm going to pop a piece of lace down there as well. So we can sew that to that. That will look nice, won't it? And then we've got a little pocket in there. That sounds good. Let's just cut that off. Pop that over there. Let's just take this. And I will just sew that together. But I think I might just <coughs> glue this down. I'm going to pop a little bit of glue stick on here. like this just so it stays together there we go lovely so we'll have it 
this way, not that it really matters on this bit because it's the same whether it's upside down or not. I'm going to just a little bit of glue and then we can just oopsie daisy sew so down there. Look at that. I think that and then I can just sew that. Well, I'm going to sew this down there first and then I'm going to pop it onto here no, I'm not. I'm going to pop it onto this one, aren't I? So let's turn it around this way. I'm going to sew down there. And then we've got a little little tuck in there. Lovely. Okay, guys, I'm just going to do a little bit of sewing. Now I'm going to scrunch this one up. I'm going to sew these together, and then I'm going to sew that onto there. Um, just like that very basic and then I will sew down here and then I will just sew that onto there so two seconds okay that's lovely look at those don't they look nice so a little bit of tidying up to do just cut that off like that I think I'm going to leave that little bit at the bottom and I'll cut these little bits off just at the sides and this bit that isn't the best bit of sewing that I've ever done but it will stay on there I am sure look at that it's all wrinkled up okay so we're going to pop this one let's make sure we're the right way that one's going to go on here like that then we can tuck that in which way should we have it I think this way because then things won't fall out will they it will be on the inside and then this one will just pop on there so let's see where's my glue there we go let's pop this on the outside I could probably do it all with this actually. Go around. All the way around to the outside. There we go. There we go. Double check again, make sure <clears throat> we are on the right side and we're not upside down. So let's just stick that on there, like that. Where's my that over a little bit? Let's just make sure that's stuck on there nicely. I think we're a bit wibbly wobbly, but I think that will be all right. I think it's a little bit wibbly wobbly. On this side, that's okay. That will be fine. Let's pop this on here. Oops, a little bit like this. Okay, perfect. Let's see if I can get this one a little bit straighter. Sided. Gosh, I'm not very good at this today, am I? Look at that. That's okay, you can't see it anyway. Once you've got the pages in the middle, it will be fine. I think what I might do, because I do sew quite a lot, I might sort of bring my sewing machine over to my desk when I sew. I might sort of like try and have it to the side. Um, rearrange my desk a little bit more so then you can actually see me sewing it um, there we go. look at that doesn't that look pretty 
Do you think I'm going to fit those pages in there now? Let's see. So then we just pop those in there like that. Look at that. That's lovely. That's going to be a lovely little simple journal. We've got a little pocket in there just to pop your little nicky knackies in. Let's just take this bit of cotton off. Oh, it's already come off. There we go. Stick that down. Make sure that's stuck down properly. Give that a minute. Look at that. That's lovely. I love this. I think that looks so so pretty. And it's not it's not too overpowering if you know what I mean. There's no Santa Clauses and things like that. It's just very sort of pretty, I think. Love it. I did go around the edges a little bit with a little bit of um, ink, which looks quite nice. I don't know. What should we do? We could probably pop a little bit of something in here, couldn't we? Let's see. Now I might I'm going to take those out. I'm going to sew around those in a minute because I've sewn around that one and I think those will look quite nice. Now I've got my other papers here which are the landscape ones let me just pop that to the side to dry which I am loving and I'm just wondering whether we can incorporate some of these into here as well I haven't printed on the back of these though so I wonder if I could sort of on the planar pages maybe I could actually make sort of like a little sort of tuck spot because look at that that's beautiful isn't it should we do that should we just have a couple of little bits in there? Let's see, let me just get my little cutter. Let's cut these bits off. Okay. Let's see. Just cut little white bits off around the edge because my printer won't, whatever I do, it just won't print full page which I don't mind. I don't mind. Right. Pop that over. What shall we do? That's the little pink bit. So we could have a little pink page. We won't do the first page because we've got the pink. Let's do this one. Shall I just, because that's going to look really nice on there, I think. What do you reckon? Let's I make like a little pocket. Yeah, let me just try this. I can always print another piece if it goes wrong. Let's do that. We could add that in. Do is just score this down. Take that piece out. I think this will work. I'm just going to score that down there. Just so I can fold it. this little piece attach something to that piece then couldn't we or is that just going to be too long I'm going to have to cut that little bit off hmm, not sure whether that's going to work but I do like that idea yes I think there's two this is two I should have folded it down this far, really. But what I'm going to do, I'm just going to cut that in half. Make sure I don't cut the back. I'm going to cut that down here so it will fit as a pocket and we can use that for something else, can't we? Okay, love this. That looks lovely, doesn't it? So that fits on there. Just perfect, doesn't it? have a little pocket in there that's what I will do and I'm going to just cut the little notch out of here so we know it's a little oh 
know it's a little pocket. Ink, there we are. I am actually um, making an embellishment pack because I love these baubles and I think they would look lovely as embellishments. So um, I'm in the middle of doing that, or we're in the middle of doing that. Um, look at that, that's going to be quite nice, isn't it? I'm going to be covering up that page, but that doesn't really matter, does it? I'm going to stick that on there and I think I might stick, make another little pocket. Or I might wait until I've made some embellishments and then I can come back and embellish this, can't I? Let's just, I'm going to just stick this on actually, just as an extra little page and then we can um, come back to this. When I've done my embellishment pack, I think. Which will be out soon. Just a little bit of glue. Stick that down there. Lovely. I could probably pop a little bit of lace on there, couldn't I? Just wait round. Maybe I'll come back in and let's pop some pockets on and then in a minute we can just come in quickly, sew this together and then we can add a little bit of lace and stuff. Oh, I like that. That looks really nice, doesn't it? Right. Shall we use the other one? Let's use the other one on the other side. Doesn't have to go on the pink, does it? Oh, let's pop it on there. I would like it on. There, should we pop it on there? On the green, right in the middle? I think that's what we shall do. Where's my little punch. Let's just punch that out. A little bit of ink. Oh there was another thing I wanted to do for the cover as well. because I wanted to pop a little dingly dangly on it. Um, so I just wanted to see if I punched a little hole in it. If I could pop a jump ring through so I will try that as well, if I remember. Well, this was supposed to be quite quick, but um, that's okay. I'm going to pop that like that, I think. Push that together. And a bit of glue. Oops. I wanted to as well I did look to see if I could add the Friday freebie in here because it's made out of the same papers but it's just a little bit too wide okay there we go that's lovely isn't it so we've got a nice big pocket if I show you what did I do with it oh here it is so this was the Friday freebie oops wasn't it that we did remember I did it so it makes the Christmas card but I was trying to think if I could actually add it into here but it's just a little bit too wide unless I cut a little bit off hmm. could use these bits as little pockets oh I might do that actually so upside down Oh, I could use them as pockets. I could actually cut them up, couldn't I? That's a good idea. I printed on the back because I thought it would fit. So, 
let's see if I remember to do that in a minute but again use it in your your journals as well because um, there are all sorts of ways of using these things isn't it so where did I put that where did I stick that that's there perfect should we have one more should we go with and that's the front cover one so we don't want to duplicate that really do we so maybe I'll go in with the gold because that's beautiful I do love these bells they are lovely so let's pop one that side should I pop one just on here get that all there oh the gold and the silver that goes quite nicely doesn't it let's cut this down let's go around the whole thing first oops Okay, so are you guys ready for Christmas? Have you bought anything? I haven't bought anything. I haven't done anything for Christmas yet. Um, it's been a funny old year for us. Um, so I haven't really done anything at all for Christmas. It's going to be a funny Christmas, I think. Bit of a strange one. A bit quiet. We're going to have a nice quiet one. can't seem to get myself organized um, I'm finding it very hard to put my mind to sort of like buying Christmas presents and stuff for some reason I'm gonna have to cut that little bit off there on time I like this little little embellishment there little dangle could add that somewhere else I shall keep that should we pop this one on this side? Let's have. I'm going to pop this one. I'm going to pop it there. And I know it's not quite in the middle, but I don't want to cut the bell out. I don't want to cut a notch out of the bell. Just a little bit of ink around the edges, like that. maybe up there and then we could have a little bit of ribbon or something down here can't we let's just put this on yes I do like these papers they're very pretty aren't they right to the top should we do it right up there I might actually use it to um, organise my Christmas, maybe. Got to get a little bit more organised. There we are. Love it. Right, so what was that? We've got that one, that one. We've got that one on there. So let's have another little gold one this side. So we've got the pink. Put the gold on the gold or the gold on the green. Should put that there and then we can cut the little notch out this side, can't we? Oh, oops. Oh, that doesn't look very straight either. little bit of ink round the edges and again I'm using the Distress Ink um, Vintage Photo as always this one. I 
think I'm going to get some more of these little glue bottles because I've only got one left. What should we do? Should we stick that in the middle? I think I need a few more. I don't know what I've done with it. I think I've lost one. I'm not quite sure whether when I'm tidying up whether they actually go in the bin. I'm not sure whether I've been clumsy enough to throw things out. I tend to do that in the kitchen with teaspoons when I'm making coffee or tea. I've got a tea bag and I tend to throw the whole teaspoon and tea bag out at the same time, which is a bit silly, isn't it? Because I always seem to be buying teaspoons. Okay, so I like that. I like that. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to sew around here. So they've got some nice little stitch marks around here as well. So I'll do that quickly. This one I folded um, and then I folded that bit in because these two went, they were like this. That was a whole piece like that. So I've just bent that one. So one side's a little bit bigger and then I just turned this on the side. So I will sew down this little bit first and then I will just sew all the way around the outside and then we've got another little tuck in there to pop something in so I'll be two seconds okay so there we go I've just gone around the outside it just sort of like finishes it off a little bit doesn't it so let's just cut these little bits off oops don't cut your paper perfect so where did these go that's the middle not that it really matters where they go does it did I just go and stuck in I think my little that can go there that can go there do you know what I've gone and stuck my little pages where I was going to pop that so I don't really want to go over the top so that was a bit silly wasn't it I don't want to put one, put that one like that. I don't want to cover up the baubles and I don't want to cover up the bell. I don't want to cover that up. So now I'm, I'm going to just leave that one. We don't need that one. So that was a bit silly. Never mind. So let's do this. So I'm just going to sew that in before I add a little bit of lace but the thing that I wanted to do was have a little dingly dangly from here but I'm not sure whether that's going to work just to hang through there I wanted to pop a little dangle down but I'm gonna put the three little holes here I'm going to do that I think what I'm going to do I'm going to get my hole punch which is over here I am going to do the little one oops if I can unlock it let's paper in there let's take you out so I want to pop a little hole here just like that now what I might do is pop a few little eyelets in there or two, not a few let's just see if this works, I might have to cover that up I've got my little jump rings and my pliers ready through like that oh gosh let's just close it up for a sec oh it does open flat okay that's what I wanted to do and then we put this inside and then that will just come down there we go that works doesn't it and then we can just hang a little dingly dangly off there fabulous 
Okay. But I think I need to pop a few eyelets in there because that might rip, mightn't it? So let's just let's close it up. Let's just take that off. Let me just get my eyelets. Okay, I just want my little white ones. I've got some tiny little white ones here. I do believe that will still fit through. Yes, that will fit through there. Let's just pop that in. Look, I've ripped the paper, so let's see if we can hide that. Oops, where did that go? Oh, gosh. Let's try this one. Pop in. There we go. What are we on? We're on the bigger one. So let's just turn those around. Clip that down. Lovely. Let me get another one out because I think that one went onto the floor. Lovely. Let's pop that over there. Pop this onto here. There we are. Oh, I love it. There we go. That's perfect. And it opens up flat. So I think if your jump ring is the same across here, then that will open up flat, won't it? Perfect. Okay. Let's get this, pop it in there. Let's just do that. That won't be tight because I'm not going to, um, I'm going to have one there, one there, one there, because I need to catch, make sure I catch that in there. I'm not sure whether to put this one in there now because it's going to look a bit odd because it's the wrong colours, isn't it? If I had two of them, I probably would. But I have only got one, so I'm going to leave it out. But then again, I've got I've got that in there, haven't I? And that for the front. Decisions, decisions. Shall I pop them both in? Let's pop this one around this way, shall we? And then that one can go there. What do you think? That wouldn't be too bad, would it? If I catch those in the middle, they won't be too high up. There we go. So as long as that's sort of in the middle, we should be okay. That's going to catch. Okay, that's what we shall do. Let's do that. Let's clip those on. Let me get a little clip. Oops. I'm going to clip that there and that there. What do you think? Does that look about right? Clip that in. Okay. Right, let me just pop some of these bits and pieces away. Gosh, it's getting so dark. It's half past five here and it's dark already. Definitely wintry, isn't it? Oh, look, we could have a little bit of gold on there, couldn't we? I think I'll just stick with that one. Let's just stick with this one. Let's get a needle out. I don't want one that's too big. Let's make some holes first, shall we, with my... Poor little book. Be all right. That will be fine. So, if I pop it right through there, where's my little blue ones? So that's going to catch both, isn't it? That's good. Let's just stick that. So let's just go right in there, like that. 
And then will it catch the other ones? Just take that out. Let's go there like that. Is that about even? That's about even, I think. Well, let's hope that's through the middly bits. Let's clip that back on. Close my poor little book. Oops. Which I just dropped on the floor. Okay, so we don't need too much. Off. Let's thread our needle, pop that through. There we go. Let's just poke that through just to make sure we are in the right place. just go through there. Look at that, that was a simple one wasn't it? Sort of, let's get that out, there we go. Perfect, I think I had a little bit too much thread there. Look at that, lovely. Tuck that underneath. Do I want anything hanging off here? I don't think I do, actually. Let's just tie that. Perfect. Oh, actually, you could have it hanging off there like a little bells, couldn't you? That would have been nice if I left that longer. I could have hung the little bells off it from the middle of the bell. Okay. Loving that. That's fabulous, isn't it? Don't know what we're going to do for the closure. I haven't really thought about that yet. But I'm going to add a few little... Oh, I like this. I do like this bit. That's nice, isn't it? Doubly wobbly add things to that. I'm going to just add a little bit of um, lace to this just so it makes it look pretty. Should I just turn my glue gun on? I might just glue that on. So should we have a little bit there? That looks pretty doesn't it? Pop that on. Did we have two this side? And we did. A little bit of lace at the bottom of this one. Like that. That can go in there. <clears throat> that I'm going to leave for now. What should we put? Should we put bit of lace at the top and the bottom of this one. That's lovely, isn't it? Let's cut a snip off there. Let's have another one. Right, that's those two in there. And then we'll have to have two on this one. That's pretty, isn't it? Just so it all mixes and matches properly. That about right. To that size. Super. Lovely. And then, yes, I think when I get some... Oops, let's just put those in there. Oops, my battery just went. So, I changed the battery. So, let me see. Let me just glue in these lacy bits. And I think we're pretty much done for today. Um, let's get a little bit of glue with the glue gun. Just stick that on. Just 
just stick that in the middle. Like that. Oops. Lovely. We can always add to that in a bit. I try. Well, I wanted to sort of finish this because it it can be finished because you don't have to do a lot more to this anyway. Um, but I would like to add a few more bits and pieces to it. I think. Let's just pop a little bit of glue on there. We shall see. Oh, I quite like that. And then we've got places to tuck things and write things. You can write a few little recipes or something in there, can't you? Oh, it'd be quite nice one to give somebody with a few little Christmas recipes in. Wouldn't it? That would be nice. Or pop it in somebody's advent for um, Christmas advent calendar. Would be quite nice, wouldn't it? So then they could use it before Christmas then. Oops, I couldn't do a very good job there, did I? Stuck it all. Oh dear me. What a mess, there we go. Oh, love it. Lovely, lovely. Except for glue gun gets absolutely everywhere, doesn't it? Okay. Let's take these apart. A little bit on the bottom pocket. Like that. A little bit on the top. Look at that, isn't that just lovely? And then we've got the same piece of trim lace in the back. So we've got a little pocket there. So everything matches, doesn't it? So it all sort of like ties in nicely together. Um, and you've got these little pockets to pop little little things in. Oops. Oh, I wish I'd left those longer now because I think I probably would have hung some little jingly bells off there. I wonder if I could make them longer. Hmm. What do you think? That's nice, isn't it? I do like this. Now, that's the front pocket. Fabulous. Then all we need to do, maybe I'll find something. I'll do another video. I'll do another quick video of finishing this off because I want to um, have one of my little dingly danglies hanging off there as well which will be nice. So there we go guys, that's using the bows, the bows, bows and baubles um, new Christmas kit, which is lovely, it's the paper pack. Um, and again, it's for making either landscape or portrait journals. And again, we've used some of the landscape papers in here as well, which is fabulous, loving them. That's using the um, paper pack with the snowflakes on, which is nice. I've got tags to match with that, so maybe I'll, print some of those off and add those onto here um, we shall see but I'll do another quick video um, and then we'll get this finished so there we go guys thank you so so much for joining me don't forget we've got 40% off in our Etsy shop at the moment so do pop along pick up a bargain pick up these papers because they are new but they are got has still have 40% off all the links will be under the video so there we go guys thank you so much for joining me have a fantastic rest of the evening and I will see you soon all right guys bye bye